Hi, this is Devotions from History with Ruthie Obert. In 1953, a little boy named Keith was born near Brooklyn, New York. At a young age, Keith loved piano, and his grandfather, who started Jaguar Records, the first rock and roll label, taught him how to play chords. From that moment on, Keith began writing and singing his own songs. He was six years old. Along with his musical quest, he was on a spiritual quest. He tried drugs, Eastern mysticism, and free love, but still didn't find his answers. But at age 21, he and his new wife, Melody, finally found what they were looking for in the person of Jesus Christ. From that moment on, Keith Green never looked back. Not only did Keith's life take a radical turn, but by then he was a highly skilled musician and songwriter, and so all of his songs changed too. Keith's prophetic intensity and spiritual honesty made his music and lifestyle more convicting than entertaining. He consistently called believers to wake up, repent, and live a life that looked like what they said they believed. He made audiences squirm by saying, if you praise and worship Jesus with your mouth and your life does not praise and worship him, there's something wrong. At age 28, he was a voice crying in the wilderness when suddenly the voice was quieted on July 28th of 1981 when Keith and two of his children were killed in a plane crash. In seven short years of ministry, God changed thousands of lives through Keith Green and his music is still influencing a new generation. It's easy to wonder why God would remove such a powerful and needed voice from the earth so soon, but maybe it's to encourage the rest of us to use our voices to tell a dying world that there is a Redeemer and to call a sleeping church to not be asleep in the light. This is Devotions from History with Ruthie Obert. For more info, check out devotionsfromhistory.org.